Battle in the West when you look at the standings. The BC Lions have been excellent at home so far. The Riders unbeaten on the road. And in the end, BC comes away with a 19-9 victory. But a storyline once again in another city about an injured quarterback having to uh, leave a game and another guy getting an opportunity and coming up pretty big. Yeah, it was the third series for the BC Lions when Vernon Adams was sacked by Pete Robertson. And in this hit, he gets twisted. The knee kind of buckles underneath him. He went straight to the to the injury tent. He gave it a try. He got examined there, of course, and then he tried to get on the stationary bike. That didn't work out, and shortly after that, took off the gear and was trying to help Dane Evans on the sideline. And, and Dane Evans is, was signed in BC for this reason, just in case you get an experienced quarterback at the number two. And he put together a great drive in about the second series of his game when he went 101 yards and picked up a blitz and, and, and threw a touchdown pass. That He played well enough to win tonight, close to 300 yards passing. Yeah, that's is why you have maybe the best insurance policy in the league at the quarterback position as Dane Evans comes in and gets the job done for the BC Lions. And after the game, he chatted with our Britt Dort. Well, Dane, some tough circumstances tonight, but you were able to come in there and get the win. So how does it feel? I mean, it feels good, ultimately. Um, I was telling some of the guys on the sideline, an ugly win is still a win. Um, not really like into moral victories. I'm glad we got the victory. Um, I got to get better for this team. Um, I have no clue what the situation is, um, but I know I'm going to work my butt off like I like I do. And uh, I missed some things tonight, but like I said, we won, and that's all that matters. We got three points in the win column, and on to the next one. Well, your defense sure went out there and held you guys in this game tonight. What can you say about yeah. their performance? No, I mean, defense and special teams, I mean, they grinded all night, and they definitely picked us up when we were down a little bit. Um, there's a, like a weird flow in the third quarter. doesn't help freaking starting off throwing a pick. Um, so they definitely had our back there, and uh, just all night, ending it with the sack right there was just the cherry on top. Well, you're mentioning some work to do, and again, we don't know the situation going forward, but, you know, what, what do you need to do to keep the winning rolling with this team? Uh, like me personally? Hey, anybody. Uh, shoot, we just got to get better all around. Um, obviously, our defense played good, but on offense, like I said, um, we missed some things that started with me. Um, it's probably just from lack of reps and stuff, but um, just got to go out there and keep grinding and just put one foot in front of the other. Awesome. Well, congrats on the win. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, just correct those stats. Mason Fine was close to 300. It was 219 yards for... Um, for Dane Evans there, and he was 16 to 25, 64%. So obviously a story on one side with the quarterbacks for the BC Lions, and we'll see what happens with Vernon Adams Jr. moving forward. But the big story from this game was probably the play of both defenses. The Riders had way more pressure than they had in any other game this year, but that BC Lions defense was even better. Well, they have now just given up just five touchdowns in over 80 possessions throughout the season. And Mason Fine, who played pretty well, as again, he threw for almost 300 yards tonight. Now he threw a couple of picks. One, I'm sure he shares with Tevin Jones. I'm not sure who made the mistake there. And one, there was some pressure on him, and he lost some timing. But... Beside that, he puts some yards on the board, but this defense just tackles so well. We've mentioned it a yeah. couple of times tonight that, you know, you, you make the right read and the right decision, throw it underneath, and your guy can't make anybody miss. By the way, Matthew Betts, last play of the game, gets number 10 on the season. 10 sacks already on the season for Betts. What's up next? Well, for the BC Lions, who have now started 5-1. and one. They head on the road to take on Edmonton next Saturday. The Elks looking for that first win at home in quite some time. And for the Riders now at 3-3, three and three, they head out east for touchdown Atlantic against the Argos.